Hayfield Elementary School opened in January 1967. The school takes its name from a farm once owned by our first president, George Washington. In 1761 and 1762, George Washington purchased two separate parcels of land from John Ashford and George Ashford, respectively, and combined these properties to form a single farm. The farm was given the name Hayfield by Washington because, quite literally, he grew hay on its field to feed his livestock. On February 25, 1785, 17 months after the end of the Revolutionary War, George Washington sold Hayfield to his distant cousin, Lund Washington, to settle a debt. Lund Washington had managed the Mount Vernon estate while George Washington was fighting in the war, and on one occasion, in April 1781, had saved the mansion from destruction by a flotilla of British gunships. Shortly after acquiring Hayfield, Lund Washington began construction of Hayfield Manor, a mansion house that was once located in the vicinity of present-day Hayfield Park. After Lund Washington passed away in 1796, ownership of Hayfield passed to his wife Elizabeth, who upon her death in 1812, willed it to her nephew, William Hayward Foote. Like the Washingtons, William Hayward Foote was a slaveholder. In his last will and testament, written in 1846, Foote directed that several of his slaves be emancipated upon his death. Namely, Charles Quander, Philip Quander, Sarah Jasper, and William Jasper. William Jasper settled near Franconia and purchased land there in 1861. Two decades later, in March 1881, Jasper donated a portion of his property to establish the Laurel Grove School, a one-room public school for African-American children from the Franconia and Carrolltown communities. You can learn more about the history of the Laurel Grove School in our companion series, Schools of Yesteryear. After the death of William Hayward Foote in 1846, Hayfield passed through a succession of owners until the early 1960s, when the farm was developed into a residential neighborhood. In 1893, William Clark, then owner of Hayfield, built a large 16-sided barn on the farm. Clark's barn was modeled after a barn designed by George Washington. The structure was tragically destroyed by fire in September 1967. The Hayfield Manor House itself had also been destroyed by fire some five decades earlier on October 24, 1916, and was never rebuilt. Today, Hayfield's storied history is preserved in its namesake, Hayfield Elementary School.